So I want to talk about what I call the just asking questions fallacy. It's where people ask questions, but in that question, it's really an argument for something. So they're asking a question and they're implying something without providing evi any evidence. So they're essentially making a claim under the guise of just asking questions. So here's one. At what point is a little bit not little anymore? Just a little bit of formaldehyde releasers in shampoo, just a little bit of parabens in lotion, just a little bit of phthalates in perfume. But what happens when? It's just a little bit every day. When are all of those little bits too much? All right, so if somebody were just asking a scientist this or something, that would be valid. These are valid questions. But that's not, that's not what's going on here. These questions are being presented as the argument. So all these questions, and then it's just implied that those little bits add up to too much and it's harmful. That's a claim that you need to be backing. So you're asking questions implying that this adds up to a harmful amount, yet you're not posting any evidence that it actually does add up to a harmful amount. Again, these are valid questions, but this in and of itself is a false claim because you're not providing evidence that this is adding up to a harmful amount. So is it? Why, why are these people not answering their own questions for their followers? Because it's an implied claim that they don't have evidence for. So imagine if I made a post and I said, all of these potential rodent carcinogens are in all of these fruits and vegetables and different things that we eat. And you know, a little bit every single day of these chemicals that are naturally present in these foods does a little bit add up over time? You know, should we not be eating fruits and vegetables because they all naturally contain rodent carcinogens? Apples and pears contain formaldehyde. So we eat these things throughout the day every day. Are these small amounts adding up to a harmful amount? Like if I just presented that as an argument, how ridiculous would that be? If there is a concern about something, you need to be providing evidence there, that there is a concern. And then there's always these urine studies that are associated with this, where it's like we've, we've detected some of these chemicals present in urine. Again, that in of itself is not evidence that we're being exposed to these at high enough doses where it negatively impacts health. Like just a mere detection doesn't mean that it is at too high of a level. Not to mention that these ingredients in food and in skincare products are regulated so that they are in there at low levels that we know we're not being exposed to levels even when used throughout the day that are harmful. All this does is make it more confusing for consumers to know when there is something that is a legitimate concern. Also, they're usually trying to sell you something too.